Okay. Hello there, everybody. Welcome, welcome to today's stream. Sorry I'm a little bit late on the update here, but I had to finish off uh, stuff for my dinner and everything. Um, but I figured that today I wanted to take it a little bit easy and get back to my island in Animal Crossing because I haven't been there in a while. And so I'm sure that all of my um, all of my folks are missing me and everything. Um, and it's uh, it's unfortunate because um, like this uh, this weekend I I basically had no weekend. Um, today was the I, I I'm sure that you all keep track of it, so I don't need to tell you. But today was the due date for um, NIH grants here in the U.S. Um, that's the National Institutes of Health um, to, to put in for grant money. And um, we're putting in not one, but two. Um, so mine got finished yesterday because I finally got a bunch of technical information Friday night. Literally Friday night at like 8, 8 9 o'clock. And so I had to work all weekend to finish my thing up. And then I had to do, help my boss with his stuff today to make sure that his was ready. So it was, um, it was no weekend, essentially. It was just, it was work all weekend. So that was very unpleasant. Um, but yeah, am I, am I on time? Oh, well, that's even better being on time. Um, but yeah, so I, I thought that um, I've, been, I've been playing uh, Majora's Mask the last couple of weeks. I thought it would be fun to switch it up a little bit, do Animal Crossing. Because honestly, I have not done... Oh, yes! I'm so excited. Um, so... Aw, oh, I'm not picking it today. Um, so I, I'm really excited in part for Animal Crossing because I actually got Animal Crossing right after some of these events, um, happened. So one of the, um, one of the events that I missed that I'm happy about missing is, um, the Easter one because the Easter bunny in this game is absolutely terrifying. And so that ended yesterday. Um, so we're, we're not dealing with that. But um, today does have the, um, the cherry blossoms. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I didn't get to see the cherry blossoms the last time I played. So I'm really, really excited. I didn't get the game until after the cherry blossom event was over. So I was very, very distraught. My scenic painting. I actually don't even know if that uh, scenic painting is real or if I even have it. I just knew that I had the other paintings that Red had available. Come here. Cherry blossom. I have so much mail it costs to survive. <laughs> yep, yeah, basically. That's how I roll. That's how I do. So, incidentally, for anybody um, who, who doesn't know, in the, in the game right now, it is spring. So now is the time to get spring bamboo, if you need it. The young spring bamboo on top of the, um, the cherry blossom stuff that's, that's going to be coming along. So just FYI on all of that. But, um, yeah. So, like I said, I had a, um, I had a, a pretty rough uh, few days. Um, incidentally, one other thing to note is that on Saturday, I will not be here, just as an FYI. I'll get to it in just a little bit, though. Rev got good news. Oh, nice! Your dice bolt finally arrived. Sweet! I, I saw you mention it on the Discord. I didn't get a chance to respond. But I did see you mention it. Yeah, I, I gotta I have to take a look because I'm sure it looks amazing. I am so jealous of you. 
Like those vaults are beautiful. Now, did you get just the um, the the seven die vault, or did you get something something bigger? Did they have something bigger? I don't even remember. I thought that the the vault was the, the thing for the like the full set of seven. It's the bigger one. Oh, okay. Sweet. Um, so f for for anybody who's curious of what we're talking about, the um, the or just a dice vault in general is used in tabletop RPGs to hold dice, essentially. Oh man, it's April 10th? Gosh. So, um, like I was saying, I'm not going to be able to stream on Saturday because I'm actually going to be getting my uh, my second COVID vaccine. Uh, and it's really, uh, it's going to be early in the morning. Um, so I'm not going to be back in time. And on top of that, I think I'm going to end up with a bunch of really nasty side effects because um, I had a really bad headache after the first one. So I think the second one is gonna um, pretty much do me in, essentially. So it kinda sucks. But yeah. Um, I, I'm super excited that I'm able to get it. I'm crazy happy for it. Um, but yeah, so for, for anybody who's wondering, a dice vault in general is used by tabletop role-playing gamers to hold their dice. So I have an example here. This is mine. Um, this is actually the same company that Revs is from. It's uh, Wormwood. And honestly, I highly recommend them. They're really, really gorgeous. So this particular one, you can see it's got a little foam-lined interior. And there are all of my dice. In this case, this is Merlot. That's the name of the color. And one of the things is that um, you can't really tell too, too well. But on the end there, you see how there's the screw on there? It snaps shut magnetically so that you don't have to worry about things. And this particular set here is what's referred to as a high variant set. Um, so, or a high variance set. So this basically has more of the um, larger and smaller numbers and fewer of the in-between numbers in them. So if you want to go for like some epic win or like yeah like you'll you'll either for sure make it or for sure won't type of roles um it, it can make for some epic moments in games type of thing i actually haven't used anything i haven't used it for anything i should say except just messing around with stuff but yeah it's fun times um like i said i'm excited for it um and um, the, the other thing I'm excited about is actually something that I haven't really talked about. And let me see if I still have it. I don't think I still do. I think I got rid of it. I did, yeah. Um, so I had, it, um, I had it on here for a while where it was the, um, the thing for the, the charity bike ride that I do every year. Um, and I'm excited because they actually got in touch with me earlier today, um, saying that potentially they want to feature my story on, um, on the website and possibly even do an interview with me, um, for the, for the whole thing. So I was super excited. Oh, oh, look at that. It's the cherry blossoms. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, so I, I was really excited about that. That was my big exciting thing for today. Um, because I turned in my grant yesterday. <laughs> so, I was done. Um, but yeah, and, um, and like I said, it was, um, it was just a, a brutal weekend, uh, filled with work for me. But, um, but yeah, that, that was a really cool thing that happened today. I, I was really happy about that. 
I'm excited to do it. Incidentally, it's kind of funny because the the event itself is actually this Saturday. And the thing is that the way they're doing it is you can either participate in person, so you can go and you can do the, the ride and go through the, the thing and do all of that, or you can be a virtual participant. So the virtual participant is, it's effectively an honor system thing where it's like you still do the ride, but you know, you're, you're not physically present because COVID, you know, it's a bad thing. Particularly for me now, since I'm going to be getting my shot on Saturday, I definitely don't want to be there. Um, but I had not planned on it anyway. Um, and so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm planning on going to a small island off the shore that has a bunch of mountain biking trails. And that's going to be my, my charity ride. It's just riding around on uh, mountain bike trails. Um, and I'm going to do a, a big recording thing for it as well, um, so that they'll be able to, um, like, the, the group will be able to share it. They're really trying to hit the branding and marketing stuff hard this year. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited for it. I, I think it's cool. So, that, that, that was my big news. Uh, I was, I was legitimately surprised when, when I saw that email. But, yeah, it's super fun. So, hooray! Uh, man, I don't think I'm going to be able to participate in the fishing tournament. That said, I don't really play this game very much at all anymore anyway. So, why bother? It's just men. I have to click on the link. Oh, hang on. Grats on all the stuffs. Oh, nice. That looks really, really cool, Red. That looks awesome. It's, I mean, the coffin is definitely the appropriate term for that. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I did eat a bunch of yummy stuff while I was gone. Um... So yeah, um, both uh, both Rev and I, um, we backed the same Kickstarter for this uh, Wormwood thing to get really cool dice sets, essentially, and storage and all sorts of different stuff. Um, not to mention, um, the company does um, like random, not giveaways, but essentially kind of roll the dice on what you get where you could get like a really really rare um a reverse snapped all over the place <laughs> zucker you just yeah oh yeah you're crazy little octopus totes science fiction is where it's at Darn right, we got a snack and talk about science fiction. <laughs> it's true, it is the nicest way of saying you puked everywhere. Look at the So, real quick, before I get to doing all of my squats that I apparently have to do now, incidentally, I was really sad because I didn't wake up early enough to do my workout today, so I'm just being careful. Um, like I said, Rev and I, we, uh, we both ended up, um, we both ended up backing the, um, the same thing, um, the same, what's it called, um, 
the same Kickstarter. And so uh, one of the things that came with were these. We have the uh, the silver, bronze, and gold D20s, both in resin and in aluminum, or aluminum for those of you across the pond. So that's really cool. Um, oh, bugger! Man, what? I dropped it on the floor, it rolled a one! That die is never getting used. I'm just saying, it's not going to happen. Ever. It's not going to happen. Alright. And... Here, let me bust this out. So here, I got this. So, this is my other little vault thing. And inside of here, I actually have the same dice set that um that rev was showing in that um in the twitter post that he put um so let me see how well i can focus on it so this is actually obsidian with raised numbers and it is it is not only gorgeous but it just feels so cool it is so awesome i really love it is absolutely awesome so yeah this uh the the thing i was talking about before the the random the randomized thing that you get is this so this is the dice tower that folds up nice and neatly and it comes with the little dice vault um so you you get a random one uh made out of some kind of wood um, they've got really rare and expensive woods. They've got relatively cheap woods. And so you're basically just gambling on what kind you'll get. So, okay. I, I have to do, like, all of the squats. 50 squats. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh man. Hang on one second. I gotta, I gotta check something. Okay. Why did I put it at 20 burpees? Who does that? Okay. But, um... Yeah, so, see, I, I have a good shirt for this, at least. Um... So, yeah. Sorry, I have to count, so it's tough to talk. Oh, sorry. certain that was at least 50 squats. I honestly don't know. Um, seven shy. Don't lie to me now. Bet you're all lying to me. Oh. Oh. All right. There. Did some extras because I missed them. Alright. I still have burpees to do. Um. Oh my god. Look at all those weeds. It's terrible. Somebody needs to clean up this aisle. It looks awful. Um. But yeah. Um. Unfortunately, I just. I couldn't get myself to wake up this morning. I. I've been having problems with motivation. 
not great. Oh, this is great. My pants won't fall. You can't really tell, but I have baby Yoda pants. These are new pants, and so they fit really, really well. It's awesome. Unlike some of my other pants. I have other pants that don't fit so well. Those are not in the rotation anymore. Um, so first I gotta find a fun place to park myself. Maybe, maybe the museum. That's what I'll do. I'll park myself at the museum. So that way you guys at least have something interesting to look at. <laughs> Since I won't be able to play while I'm doing burpees. But incidentally, does anybody have anything fun planned for the, uh, uh, for the week at all? We're going to go to the, um... We're going to go to the reef tank here in the museum. <laughs> I know the terms of service say I can't let my pants fall. Look at that big foreheaded mother fudger. There you go. You guys can watch the fishies while I do burpees. Seems unfair. I'm only saying, I'm just putting that out there. Seems really unfair. Okay. Oh, shoot. I have a bunch of stuff in the way because of reasons. I have to move a bunch of really big games. That were on the floor because of reasons. Okay. Whew. You know what else I have to do? I have to do taxes. I don't want to do my taxes because I'm going to have to pay a bunch. I hate having to pay the man. Alright, scooch him. You know, it's funny. My mom sent me... Here, I'll show you the back of it. You guys can't see the front. This is actually a DVD of my high school graduation that my mom sent me a while ago. I don't know why she sent it. All right, here we go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three. That's one set. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, we got this. We got this. Quads, work with me.
17, 18, 19, 20. All right, that's two. You're all terrible people. But I hope you enjoyed the fishies. Look! There's some beautiful little fishies. What are those things? Hey. Sea butterfly. That's so cute. Look, it's the jetties. The little crab. Swim, little crab, swim! And I love the ray. Just like, what? I'm sad. Can't I just be sad? <sighs> Good exercise, though. So. If any of you are ever looking for an exercise routine that's just body weight, push-ups, pull-ups, and, um, oh my god, I can't remember the third one now. Squats. Duh. Push-ups, pull-ups, squats. Those are the only three that you need. And that's a total body workout. Now... The thing is that the pull-ups can be really hard because a lot of people don't have the setup for actual pull-ups. And I know a lot of people have trouble doing pull-ups, but um, you can just get like resistance bands or something like that. Even put them over a door frame. And just as long as you get your lats. So that's this muscle right here. As long as you can feel that as you come down. That's what you want. It's those back muscles. But yeah, push-ups, pull-ups, and squats will be a good workout, essentially from the shoulders all the way down to the ankles, collectively. Burpees are nice because it's, um, it's a very, um, it's a it's a very extensive workout in terms of it works out a lot of muscle groups. Same squats. Both of them exercise the core fairly significantly. Uh. 
Ooh, water garden sounds so pretty. Ooh, a word in Espanol. Um. Hmm. Ooh, I know a good one. Dinero. That means money. As in, Danny doesn't have any dinero. Good work. It's good words. Quality work. It's useful throughout any millennial's lifetime. It's a useful phrase. Same for learning your cheapest, your cheapest beer, please. I I don't. I has no dinero. If um if any of you are curious, I uh, I do I. I will recommend that you watch my latest uh, board game video that I did where I basically talked about my own personal FOMO because for whatever reason, like, two dozen board games came up on Kickstarter at the same time. And I want all of them. Like, the, these are games that are part of... Um, parts of other games that I've wanted for years, or it's new stuff that looks absolutely fascinating, or it's games that are based off of things that I really wanted um, before, or like whatever it is. And so I was like, oh god, I have no money. Like, I can't buy any of this. Like, I, I wish that real life Danny had as much money as Animal Crossing Danny. But I, I don't know what the exchange is of dollars to bells. My guess is that it's not great. I will say. Probably not so good. Maybe it is, but I doubt. Just say. Well, yeah, the manufacturing thing has been there for quite a while, um, and the and it's not like Kickstarters have necessarily slowed down. We still see them in it, and well, not everybody, but a huge portion of Kickstarter um, board game makers will use Panda Manufacturing. That's one of the bigger ones that you'll see fairly frequently, and they were working through coronavirus. Um, they were still making and distributing and sending out games. Um, not nearly as much, obviously, I will say, but they were still doing it. So, either way, um, yeah, it just, it kind of sucks because... There's just a bunch of games that I really wanted to have that collectively popped up at once. And I was just like, son of a bitch. Very upset. But either way, it's just... It's really frustrating because I would love to have all of them, but I simply can't. And I know I can't. That's the problem with being, like, reasonably semi-intellectual. As, as I at least claim to be. I sort of kind of am. It's like, there's nothing I can do except realize that, you know, this sucks. So, it's, um, it's really disappointing. Um, but, we try to keep our spirits up. We try to look at the positive. Even if it's not easy to do so. So, yeah. 
so yeah. And to be fair, a, a decent portion of it, I, I will fully admit, is completely my fault because I did go and I I bought some fairly big ticket items of different sorts. Um, the the thing is like a bunch of the stuff that I bought it was like it's for the house like it's for my family, but I like I bought it I took the financial burden of it, um, but I still have to pay for it so it's um, it's difficult but you know I I do. I do what I gotta do. <laughs> hey! All the cleaning I won't have to do for all the games I'm not getting. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a good point. Sort of. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's true, I, I suppose. But yeah, I've, I've ended up buying a bunch of stuff and like, so, some of it, I, I will admit, was strictly for myself, uh, but most of it has been like for the family. So, for example, I started up my garden. Um, outside that was that was like for everybody I mean because I'm growing like fruits and vegetables and stuff that we can all eat and it's a nice thing that we can sort of hang out at and stuff like that and just go out and smell the herbs and things of that nature it's really nice um, but then the um, but but then I I also got um, like for example I'm getting us new furniture and um and that's pricey like i got us a, a new bed and then i'm getting us a couch and chairs and stuff like that um so it's not cheap but you know it is what it is <laughs> i have to start selling stuff you know? it's um it's a weird thing because I, I, I do believe that at some point in the not too distant future, I... No, it's a fake! Boo! Dang it, Red. Jerk. Did I at least get the skull that I'm missing? Man. Um, but yeah, uh, at, at some point in the not too distant future, I'm probably going to have to sell off things. It's, it's interesting though, because I've made not one, but a decent handful of videos about my game collection philosophy and like why I have what I have and why I'm keeping what I'm keeping and all this kind of stuff. And, like, I have not gotten rid of one single game in my collection ever since I started collecting. So, some of the worst games that I have ever played, for example, for example, uh, Dexter, the board game, uh, based off of the, um, the book series slash TV show, um, I've not gotten rid of it. It is by far one of the worst games I have ever encountered in terms of how it functions it's absolutely horrible but i'm not getting rid of it because i don't want to because it's mine and stuff like that so yeah i i i honestly don't know what i'm gonna do um yeah i i don't want to get rid of my stuff so at this point it's probably just going to be having to push a big pause button on all things board gaming related. Um, part of the issue there is that it's it's um, it's nice because I started the new series that I do every month of games that I'm excited about because by definition that means it's games I haven't played. But at the same time that also means any new games that do come out I can't really talk about because I can't play them because even if I could afford them, even if I could buy them, um, I don't, 
like I I can't really play them. <laughs> I just I don't have the the required person capacity to play some of the games that are required and stuff like that. So yeah. But I I'm I'm fully aware that I um I I have some game space issues. I am not afraid to admit, however, that I am still on the lookout for additional versions of Cosmic Encounter. That is one exception that will always be. I'm always going to be on the lookout for more Cosmic Encounter. Because I have... that. That is like an official collection that I have within my collection. You put away your painting stuff? So I, I assume your miniature painting, like for 40k and stuff. Yeah. It's... Yeah, when it comes to hobbies and stuff like that, it's, it's really difficult to come to the realization of I can't do this. Like, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, I don't have the money. I, like, honestly, I tip my hat to you, Rev, for being able to come to the conclusion of not being able to do the wargaming thing. Um, like, for me, I'm not, like, I, I, I'm not even going to attempt to start trying wargaming stuff. Because I know that one of two things will happen. Either I'm going to spend a bunch of money getting like starter kits and stuff. And then I'm just going to be like, this sucks. Or I'm going to spend a whole bunch of money, a whole bunch more money on starter kits and paint and brushes and all of that sort of thing. And I'm going to try to paint like three or four things and I might enjoy it for a little bit. And then I'm going to be like... Ah, this sucks. <laughs> and I'm just gonna toss it in the corner. Type of thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, the clutter problem. Yeah. Clutter always makes things a little bit easier to get rid of. Um, it, it is, I mean, it's a problem for, ev for everybody, especially now with COVID and stuff. Like, we're not able to go outside, we're not able to do stuff. Like, um, just the other day, uh, one of the things that I got, uh, oh, yay! Okay, we get Pascal. All right, everybody pause. Okay, we need to hear the deep wisdom of Pascal. We need to hear his deep truth. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. They say that runners can get a second wind, but, like, what if the first one is barely even a breeze? I have been truthed, you guys. I have been truthed by the ever perplexing and enigmatic passed out. What did he give me? He gave me a pearl. I don't want your stupid pearls! <laughs> I want something cooler! I still don't have all the mermaid stuff. Hey, I got the biggest one. Oceanic existentialist. I love it. Okay, um, so that said, clutter. Yes, clutter. We were talking about clutter. Um, with, uh, with COVID and everything, that's a big issue of what's been going on. One of the things that I got was a, um, a bike rack for my car. And the thing is that I realized it's literally been more than a year since I've ridden my bike. And now I'm going to be doing this cancer challenge thing 
The nice thing is I'm not really worried because I've been working out. Like I've been keeping up with my cardio and stuff like that. And frankly, biking is much easier than like running and doing squats and burpees and stuff. Um, not to mention I built like a gym in the garage, like a full-fledged gym out there. Um, but like I, I looked at my bike and I was like, you know, like I haven't done any maintenance on it. Um, so just little stuff like that. Um, and it honestly just made me kind of sad thinking about it. So, yeah. Oh yeah, Rev, you, you've gone head first into the whole fish keeping thing. You have, yeah, you, you have literally and metaphorically dived into that whole shtick. Your corner of buckets. <laughs> Speaking of swindling cheaters who gave me a fake painting, look who's back. Yeah, um, that was something else, incidentally, that I recently purchased, was a bunch of fish. Um, and un unfortunately, almost all of the fish have died. So. Dang it. This one is real. The problem is I don't remember if I already have it. Oops, wrong button. You have the Critterpedia. But the Critterpedia doesn't have the artwork. It's literally just critters. Oh, is it fake? Is it the one that has the thing sticking out of his chest that's real? I thought the one that was... I thought that the the one with the, the sticky yadi was fake. Now, I have the solemn painting in, um, in my gallery already. Now, if memory serves, the important thing is the dude in the background by the door. So you can see the guy's hand. And his hand position is what gives it away. And I think this is the fake. Because I believe the real one has him with his hand down on the door frame. I believe. Ha! See? I'm right. Go me. Um, but that's why I can't remember what all I already have. The Fey Run discount? Really? Oh, well. If it includes the Fey Run discount. This one I don't know. Shoot. And the problem is I don't remember which ones I have. I gotta go to the museum to look at what I've already got. See if I have either one of those two because I honestly don't remember. The other two are both real? Well, that's good to know, at least. Hey, look! I made my own Godzilla movie. It's probably better than the one that just came out. Although, ew, it's hilarious. I saw, um, I saw an article that was saying that um, Godzilla vs. Kong, the, the new movie that came out, set a it, it was that it set a pandemic record for an opening and i'm just like oh so so that's the yardstick on which we're measuring things now is you know it's the pandemic opening you know what it's stupid because raya and the last dragon is an amazing movie and everybody needs to watch it but nobody's gonna pay 30 dollars on top of paying for disney plus to watch it so, of course, it's going to get bad numbers, you idiots. God, you're so stupid, these people. 
Sorry, it's just a fact. Okay, so I've got that one. Dang it, I already have both of them. Shoot. I guess I can just buy one to sell it. But yeah, incidentally, this this whole stupid thing with digital distribution of movies that they've got going on right now, I personally think it's really dumb. I I can't stand it. I do not like the fact that they're doing it. I think that they're taking even farther advantage of people that are already in trouble just to get some desperate form of entertainment that they, they can somehow get. Like, seriously, I mean... When you go to the movies, it's like, yeah, you're going to end up paying at least 30 bucks to go and see a movie. But we're talking about you are sitting at home paying for a streaming service already. And then on top of that, you have to pay another $30 to watch the movie with your regular TV and your regular sound system. How does that matter? And the fact is, is that if people keep buying movies this way, the studios are going to keep releasing them this way, and we're never going to get out of it. All of the theaters are going to die, and we're going to be stuck with this bullcrap of the theater is literally going to end up being the home theater. Bunch of bull. Ridiculous. Okay, I'm done. Now. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. That is my rant. I'm just saying it's annoying. Incidentally, I do have to end um, pretty much on time today. Uh, I still have to water my garden. Um, I gotta go and, and do that. I haven't watered my plants today yet. Or I should say this evening. So the the problem that I have with my home theater is that it's it's not that it's necessarily bad. It's it's a frustrating thing because I've got um, the the sound system that we have. It's a 5.1 system. The problem is that thus far we're we're having a huge problem with the back speakers and essentially how to get them plugged in because they're not wireless and we don't have any sort of like a crawl space or anything like that that we're able to use to get the wires through the wall so it would just look super ugly and on top of that i can't find the cables for the speakers i know that they're somewhere but i just don't remember where they are hidden very cleverly um and I don't remember where. But point being that essentially we we end up with 3.1 surround. So it sounds really weird when you have stuff that's meant for 5.1 and it tries to output to 5.1, but it actually outputs to 3.1 because you miss stuff. Um you like you'll you'll miss um if if you're like facing a character and somebody, be somebody behind the camera is talking, you'll miss what they're saying. You literally won't hear it because it's meant to be coming from the back speakers and stuff like that. So it kind of sucks. So yeah. Make extensive use of throw rugs to cover them. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, the, um... Uh, why, why do you have to run two 50-foot Ethernet cables to his room? It's insane. What's wrong with wireless? Wireless is perfectly fine. You know, I'm on wireless right now. I'm just saying, I am streaming from wireless. And it works, at least mostly okay, for the most part. I'm just putting it out there. 
works mostly all right. Just sometimes have to deal with garbage. <laughs> oh, he plays shooters in fast reaction games. I mean, you know, it is the poor man who blames lag for his KD ratio. I'm just saying. I played Fall Guys. Hey, I played Fall Guys on Saturday and I did pretty well. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, and as a reminder, no streaming on Saturday. Although I do still need a new game. So Rev had mentioned potentially doing God of War. Um, the PS4 version of God of War. Um, it is rated M, just FYI, but it's an amazing, incredible game. It truly is. Um, and I, I have, I have not played it. I've, um, I've seen all of the reviews. I've seen gameplay videos of it. I've played the other God of War games. I absolutely adore them. I really want to play it, but I simply have not had time. So, yeah. I do not take all the bandwidth. That's a lot. That is a blatant lot. I don't take all the bandwidth. I take barely any bandwidth. Trying to throw me in the bus. I don't do nothing. I want to see what cool um, seasonal stuff they've got real quick. Heck, in my day, that was all the internet you got. From? Really? From? Really? From? Fuck. I'm still gonna get all this stuff simply so I can say I have it. Oh yeah, funny story about, um, about like ye old internet. Um, when I was growing up, then, like, I I literally had dial-up until I was in high school. Like, we, we couldn't even get DSL, much less broadband. Like, that's how out in the boonies we were. We had dial-up the entire time. It was horrible. It was absolutely awful. And it was hilarious because I kept telling my parents... You guys, dial-up is horrible. We need to try and get something else. Please, 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 please. Literally begging them to get something. Anything besides dial-up. And they were like, no, it's fine. It's totally okay. It serves our needs and it gives us what we need, even if it's a little slow and blah, 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 blah. And then... When they moved to a place where they could get broadband, one of the first things they told me was like, Danny, you are right. Dial-up sucks. And I was like, I know I was right because dial-up is horrible. <laughs> it's the worst. It is literally the worst. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. And that awful screeching noise. Oh, the nightmares. Ah, oh, so sad. So very sad. Oof. Not to mention the fact that they had to make You've Got Mail twice, with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan both times, where one of them involves snail mail and the other one involves email. Or wait, no, was it Sleepless in Seattle? What was it? I don't remember. Whatever it is. You guys know what movies I'm talking about. Don't deny it. You all know. 
Can I talk to you? I don't know. What's up, bro? Sure, have one of these. Old man complains about thirty-year-old Ron. <laughs> Back in my day, we had to wait three days before we heard back from our loved ones. That reminds me of the Futurama episode when, uh, oh, who was it? It was um, Dwight and Cubert. Um, they sent out for um, like a, a hovercraft plan or something like that for their um, uh, for their um, newspaper route that they had, and um, and it shows them like sending it sending it in the pneumatic tube. And then they're like, what's taking so long? The ad says wait six to eight seconds for delivery. It's just like, no matter what, no matter how fast it is, people are still going to complain. No matter what. Doesn't matter. Besides, you all agree with me about the stupid Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan bullcrap. Don't deny it. They literally remade the same movie, one of them with snail mail and one of them with female. That is just a fact. It is the exact same movie. Don't try to do it. What's up, Blue Bear? Oh, practice going to box those. They were both rom-coms, so simply because they're both rom-coms, that mean that automatically means that they're the same movie. Frog costume. Okay, I guess I'll take it. It's a little bit odd, but whatever. We'll roll. I'm not going to say no to a fancy frog costume. Makes me look fancy and dapper. Hey, there's Admiral. Wait, did he just say he's straight and clean? What did Admiral get up to while I was gone? It's an existential financial crisis. Alright, so... No, I don't want that. I already have that. I want this thing. This thing looks really fancy. I feel like I need that for my tuxedo mask outfit. Oh, right, I got my wetsuit. What's that? What's that? Oh, somebody got gifted a sub! Colinies? Colinies? I, I, I'm afraid because the first part of it looks like colon. And that, 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 that scares me. <laughs> but, yay! Welcome to the subscription anyway. <laughs> Here, this is more of a tuxedo mask mask. I think I already have one technically, but still. Just to be safe. Hmm. I get some cool Zori as well. Oh, 
Colonel Lays. Colonel. English is the dumbest language on the screen, I swear. So stupid. Makes no sense. Okay. Uh, but with that, I unfortunately gotta get going because I have to go outside and I have to water my plants. So you guys all take care of yourselves. Have fun. Um, I will, um, I will see you next week. Um, I, so let, I, I will put it this way. I will hopefully be back next Monday. I honestly don't know. Like I said, because I'm getting the shot on Saturday, I'm not sure how I'll be feeling on Monday. I'm hoping that I'll be feeling okay enough to do my stream, but I'm honestly not sure. If I am, then I will be playing Majora's Mask. But yeah, um, e either way, I won't be here on Saturday. Um, do let me know what games you would like to see. Um, because I need to come up with a new game after I beat, um, what's it called? Um, Origami King. So that was a really fun one. Um, yeah, so if anybody has any other suggestions, just let me know. But, uh, that said, everybody take care, be awesome, be well, have fun, and I will hopefully see you next week. Bye-bye.